Hi Libra, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. If you're cross watching for a Libra, the energies could be reversed. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. Thank you so much for hitting the like button as it does help support my channel. Those of you that would like to skip directly to the singles reading, you can find the timestamp in the description box along with the cross watchers timestamp. Let's see. So spirit, who's we were dealing with and what happened? Let's see. Who are you dealing with Libra? Oh, well, they're very confusing. Okay. They're here. They're there. Um, they could be sending you mixed signals. Um, I feel like somebody has you confused here. Emotionally confused. Um, you don't know where they stand emotionally, okay? I feel like you're wondering how they feel. Six of Wands. We have water energy and we have fire energy. So I do feel like there's somebody here who's hot and cold with you, or they were. Like this is somebody that really gave you attention and then uh, they started sending you mixed signals here. How does uh, Libra see this person? I am getting this person wants your attention in the present moment. How does Libra see this person? Could be an Aries, but oof. Okay, why the, you see them as like, they're showing no emotion right now. But I feel like, you know, they, they may have been in the past because yeah so this is just a really confusing person here how you feel you don't know where this is going you're like where's it going what's happening you're just so uncertain about the whole thing so you guys feel like this person may have another option or they want to keep their options open is how you're feeling you see this person is um you know kind of cold or just you know not showing emotion towards you right now queen of swords I just feel like you want to be direct with this person and be like, what the hell? <laughs> like, this is your energy, the queen of swords. Like, I feel like you just want to be like, dude, what's going on? Like, what the hell? What happened? Um, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Like, what was this or what is this? Okay. Um, okay. I'm laughing because I get nervous. Okay. So just overlook that. But I just feel like you're just like, what the hell? So how does this person see Libra currently? How do they see you right now? Hopefully my cat doesn't fall off the window again. Because he did that when I started your reading last time. And I didn't quite get started. And he fell off the window. But anyway. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Okay. How do they see Libra? Spirit, how does this person see Libra? Virgo energy you could have gone ghost or they just kind of see you as withdrawn though they see you in hermit mode that you're not giving to the connection and why would you <laughs> look what they're doing or what they did um, so they just kind of see you as retreating falling back it's Virgo energy how do they feel about Libra right now what are their true feelings the Ten of Swords, you mean, okay, this person is hurt because you're not giving them any attention, Libra, but why would you give this person attention? Look what they did to you. They emotionally confused you here. So it's like somebody here feels a little hurt. They also feel like something could be over because you're not giving to the connection or, or you know, you're not following around like a lost puppy. And they're like, they're also like, well, what the hell? But I feel like you could be a little upset with someone here with the Queen of Swords. Maybe you're not angry, but I just feel like you're in this energy of like, why were you not up front with me? Because you feel like somebody wasn't up front with you from the get-go. So there's an energy here of being let on, being sent mixed signals, and now you don't know what's going on. But it's telling me they're hurt because you retreated. Or that you're not giving them any of your energy or any of your attention. 
So, you know, if there was an ending here, of course, they're hurt by that ending. They're, they're feeling like, uh, you know, it could be over, and they don't like that. Seven of Swords. <gasps> okay. So now they're starting to, like, think you know something. Queen of Swords, you... M so the Queen of Swords clearly sees what's going on. And so they feel hurt because there's an energy of feeling exposed that you can see them for who they really are. I just got this message for you. I just got this message for you a few days ago. You see this person for who they are. And so it's like they feel like they couldn't get something past you. E guys, even if you don't fully see what's going on. I feel like a lot of you guys, for the most part, trust your intuition. There's definitely something you can see, but I feel like there might even be more to the story than you can even see with your own eyes. Um, so they're hurt because they feel exposed and they couldn't hide. They couldn't hide from the truth because either you found something out or they were caught red handed. So it's like you retreated after this person was deceptive, but they're hurt. <laughs> okay. Aquarius energy, Gemini energy. Okay, for some of you guys, it could be another Libra. I also have Aries, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So it's like uh, how they feel. They're just in pain. They're very uncomfortable. We'll just say that. This person is very uncomfortable with what they think you know. Because they're like, what is Libra doing with this information? Okay. Because you're being silent or you retreated and, and they're a little, they're shaking. They are shaking. What do they want from Libra? What do they want from you? A conversation. King of Swords. They want to know what you know. That's what it is, guys. They want to know what exactly it is you know. The King of Swords can be like a card of like wanting the facts. Five of Wands. They want to know what you're going to do with this information. Oh my gosh. What are you going to do with this information, Libra? I just, I feel like this person wants to know if you're going to cause drama in their life, but guys, that's so funny to me because this person caused drama in your life. They've caused a ripple, a chaos, like they've caused this mixed energy, this mixed emotion for you. But now they're like, oh, what does Libra know? What exactly does Libra know? And what is Libra going to do with this information? And, and what Libra knows is it even, you know, facts. But there's clearly something here. Like they're like, does Libra know the whole story is what I meant by that. Like... Some of you guys know something about this person's history or who they're connecting with. They're hoping you're going to be, uh, show them mercy. Oh my gosh. This person wants, that's Luna meowing at the birds, guys. Sorry. Um, but this person wants you to show them some, some, some type of mercy here. <laughs> okay. Well, let's just, let's see. What do they like about you? Let's see what they like. I'm curious. What do they like about Libra? <sighs> you know, it's telling, now this is just their perception, guys. It's telling me that what they like about you or what they think they like about you is the your your art of war. Your ability to uh, turn things around. Your ability to, like, I feel like somebody here really feels mind... How do I say it without cussing? <laughs> like, they feel mind-fucked by you. Like, outsmarted. I could have just said that. <laughs> Sorry, Libra, for those of you who get so upset over it over words, but, um, they feel outsmarted by you. Okay. And you know, yeah, they don't like that, but there's also an energy of them subconsciously really liking the fact that 
you're very challenging to their mental space. You're very challenging to this person. But it's also an energy of them being kind of uncertain about you and, and you know, somewhere, I, I don't feel like this person would, I don't think you would verbally hear this person say it, but they like how you make them feel uncertain. There's like a, a high they get from that shit. Because you make them feel uncertain about themselves, uncertain about you, and uncertain about everything. Like there's no uh, predictability when it comes to you and, uh, you know, what you know and what you're willing to do with that information. <laughs> So it's kind of like they feel outsmarted here. Uh, their next actions, expect to hear from this person. Judgment card. There's definitely announcement in the, an announcement or them, them announcing themselves here with the judgment card. Um, something getting brought back from the dead, okay, because they believe you two to have unfinished business because you have information about them. Okay. Yeah, it's, I'm just getting communication coming in from this person because it's it's nervous communication to me. I'm picking up on their, they're nervous. They're wondering what's next. Temperance, Nine of Swords, Will of Fortune. They're like, is Libra going to show me mercy? Sagittarius energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Let's see what their hidden truth is. Sorry guys, Luna just, she just, she has a full belly and now she has so much energy in her and she's going to be meowing out the back window. She does that. <laughs> so, if it bothers you, um, well, this is her house, so. Luna, honey, babe, you can come say hello. Or are you going to go in your tunnel? She's going to go in her tunnel. Okay, spirit. What is this person's hidden truth? What is their hidden truth? What is their hidden truth? That they would do it all again. So look, <laughs> they would do all this shit. If they, if they were given the chance to go back in time and do things differently, they'd do it the same exact damn way. Because this person does not learn from their mistakes, guys. Um, they'd do it again. That's the truth. I want to start over at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I feel like this person does want to start over with you, but I feel like whatever they lied to you about or whatever confusing uh, shit they've caused your life, they do it again. It says, I do love you. So I feel like this person does have feelings for you. Okay, there are feelings there. I left you before you left me wanted to come out. Because they knew that you were going to leave them for something once you found out the truth. Some of y'all may have known the whole time. Is what I'm getting? Some. They miss being with you. So they do have feelings for you, okay? They miss being with you. Um, but this person, this is a character trait. This Seven of Swords energy, this is their character. They could have ghosted you, okay? Or... Some of y'all, it's much deeper than that, okay? But it says again, I left you before you could leave me. This person couldn't handle rejection from you, so that's why they lied to you. Because they knew that if they would have told you the truth from the get-go, Libra, you wouldn't have really given them the time of day, or that's how they feel. So they felt like they had no other choice, because they wanted you to be around. They wanted you to be in their life, but then they ghosted you, or then they decided to turn their back on you. Okay, in fear of what you might have known. And guys, they are hoping that you're going to show mercy here. So um, you can be dealing with an Aquarius, a Virgo, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus, a Libra, an Aries, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, guys, let's take a look at the singles. So if you are a single Libra, let's see who's coming towards you. Toward, we're going to see who's coming towards you and what is coming towards you along with it. Let's see. <laughs> she is going ape shit out there. <laughs> All right. If it bothers y'all, I do apologize, but it's like, I don't 
then, you know. <laughs> okay, so there's a breakthrough in communication coming in. Ooh, from a crush. Ooh, y'all have two people coming in. Um, so I am seeing a past person that has already shown you signs of deception, but I also see somebody that you want... You want this person's attention who's coming in? Okay, there's two people coming towards you. One is uh, your crush is coming in to speak with you. There's like a breakthrough uh, happening here. But I'm also seeing a past person, Libra, somebody that was already deceptive. Now, be mindful of any new energies that you meet from now and the rest of September, okay? Uh, be mindful of meeting people in places uh, that you've never met them before, okay? Like someone that new to you make sure you tell your friends and family where you're going things like that but i do see a romantic situation coming in but you're being asked to keep your guard up with this person so make people earn your trust libra who's coming towards libra okay we have pisces energy so I'm going to tell you, Libra, there's a couple of things happening here, okay? Oh, there is a person from the past that was very secretive wanting to speak with you, right? But I also saw a new person coming in that you have a crush on. I feel like this person does want your attention. Um, and also, those of you who are not dealing with anyone at all, nobody on your mind, I do see some type of offer coming towards you from someone that you're not too familiar with. And I feel like, you know, if you are going to go on a date with this person to make sure you go somewhere very public and make sure you let your friends and family know where you're at and when you're going to be there. Don't be overly cautious, but I was seeing that. So what's coming towards single Libra? Yeah, guys, look at that page of cups. There is an offer coming in. Like I'm seeing somebody ask you out here on a date. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, you've been waiting for this person to approach you, and they're approaching you. I also see somebody who has confused you emotionally coming in, guys. So just be aware of that. They're wanting to come in. Yeah, uh, this person already made... They made you feel insecure in the past. This person stressed you out. I'm getting like they added extra weight or burden to your life. Yeah, and they want to turn things around. Okay, they want you to not be disappointed in their, them. Yeah, they want to make it better. You know, this person really wants to have a conversation with you. I feel like this person is desperate to make you see them differently. Three of Swords is here, though. You know, some of you guys, this could be advice to reject this person re-entering your life, okay? Okay. Why the Three of Swords? Three of Pentacles. Because you have other things coming towards you that are better. Um, I feel like there's someone here from the past. The situation is just not built on solid foundation. I feel like this person has something to figure out in their life before you could even attempt at having anything with this person. So I do see multiple people coming towards you, single Libras. 33, 35 could be significant to you. 31 and 38 for some of you. Okay. 30, uh, I have 333. Three, three. You're being asked by your guides when you see 333 three, three, to focus on your mind, body, and spirit. I feel like now's the time to put yourself first and explore new options. And only invest in things that are giving you that same return in investments, okay? But guys, I have to tell you that there is somebody here that is unpredictable from your past wanting to jump right back into your life because they are desperate to see what it is you know about them or they're desperate to see they're desperate to make you see them differently could be a sagittarius could be uh, another air sign gemini libra aquarius i have leo i have taurus scorpio okay pisces aquarius all right, we're going to do um, cross watchers. So this is, you watch their sign. Okay, let's see. Aries through Pisces. If the messages were not for you this time, check your other signs or check back next time.
But I do also do other kinds of readings. Um, I do all sign live readings occasionally, so at least once a week. You guys want to check those out. Let's see. Aries through Pisces. Okay, so how how do they feel? What's going on? Aries through Pisces. If you're dealing with an Aries, this Aries is focused on their job. Yeah, work. Work is just the main focus for this Aries. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus wants to connect. Okay, uh, they have feelings for you. If you're dealing with a Gemini, this Gemini is held back. They're very protective over their heart right now. They're not letting anything in. But this Gemini is afraid to make a move in general. Um, if you're dealing with a Cancer, you know the truth about this Cancer, okay? And I'm also getting this Cancer misses you, okay? The, you, you both miss each other, but it's, it's saying you know the, you know the truth. They want to speak to you, and I feel like they know they treated you unfairly, and they're missing you. If you are dealing with a Leo, this Leo wants to connect with you, Libra. I'm getting a Leo loves you, okay? If you're dealing with a Virgo, this Virgo is juggling a lot right now. Um, yeah, they have a lot of responsibility and priorities right now that they're juggling is what it's telling me. Could be juggling someone else, but I feel like you would know that. With the Ten of Pentacles that came out, I feel like this person is... Wanting to create stability in their life, but they could be juggling other commitments. If you are dealing with a, a Libra, sorry, a Libra, this Libra wants your attention. If you're dealing with another Libra, they want your attention. Okay, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, clarify. This Scorpio acts uninterested, but they're actually, they do have romantic feelings for you. I feel like there's a Scorpio, uh, for some of you guys, there could be a new Scorpio that acts uninterested, but they're really interested. If this is a Scorpio you have history with, they know that there's unfinished business. They want to come in and finish out with you. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, this Sagittarius is stuck in their head. They're, they, they're feeling trapped. They want you, okay, but they're not moving. They're not doing anything about it. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. You, you confuse this Capricorn, okay? They're very confused about how they feel about you in general. They may be pushing you away due to the confusion. Uh, if you are dealing with an Aquarius, uh, this Aquarius wants to get to calmer waters with you. They're wondering if they're delusional, though. Uh, I feel like this Aquarius is wondering if it's even possible to get to a better place with you. If you're dealing with a Pisces, this Pisces loves you. They want you, okay? For some of you guys, there's a new Pisces around you that is secretly admiring you. Um, but I am getting a Pisces that has strong feelings for you, Libra. All right, those are your messages. Thank you guys so much for hitting the like button and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And until next time, bye.